guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Aubrey and I am here with my sign by sign forecast for the 12 ascendants for the full moon in Capricorn, June 24th, 2021. I am going through the 12 ascendants and taking a look at how each in particular sign may be affected by these full moon energetics this week. And this is my video for Gemini ascendants. Also Gemini sun and moon to a lesser extent, but this energy will be felt most strongly by the Gemini ascendants. So I am looking at the planet Saturn for these reports because Saturn rules Capricorn. The full moon is in Capricorn, so we really need to look at Saturn and what's going on with Saturn in your chart in order to understand how this Capricorn full moon is going to play out. So for Gemini's, you have had Saturn transiting your ninth house, and the ninth house is all about generally our understanding of the overall picture. It's about um, like higher higher wisdom philosophies spiritual truths higher understandings aligning with like the actual divine truth and things um having a very lofty perspective being able to see things from a bird's eye view it also has to do with like gurus and mentors and teachers it's also the house of luck and blessings and it also rules like long distance foreign travel it's all about gaining a perspective and a viewpoint of things that's like above and beyond what is natural and normal to us like mundane things it's all about searching for the highest truth of reality and so with Saturn retrograding and transiting your ninth house Gemini's you may have experienced some type of limitation in terms of your ability to access information knowledge and wisdom and awareness in the way that you would like to there may be um, some frustrations or just feeling held back or limited or obstructed in some type of way in your ability to gain the knowledge that you're seeking in order to come to the level of awareness that you're seeking to gain a new perspective wisdom understanding and just like more um enlightened ideas for some reason there is some type of thing obstructing restricting and limiting your ability right now to gain the higher viewpoint the higher perspective the greater learnings the greater philosophies spiritual understandings wisdom or connecting with that mentor or receiving your wishes and hopes and blessings as well there's been something holding those things back from coming to you during this time that saturn has been transiting the ninth and retrograding now so that's what's going on with saturn's for you for with saturn for you gemini's now the full moon in, Je in capricorn is going to be occurring in your eighth house and the eighth house is actually the house of like other people's money and other people's resources and like deep psychological complexes and like inter deep like complex intertwined relationships that we have with other people it has a lot to do with like the complex nature of our intertwinement with others and the psyche and the psychic mental complexes that we have that lead us into those complex um binding relationships with other people and then because of that like the intertwining of resources and it, other people's resources and it's a, it's a very it's a house of scorpio it's a very deep house so with the full moon coming into the eighth house there's going to be some type of light or emphasis somehow on one of those type of topics like I mean, and this is kind of a more difficult one to interpret and understand because that's the nature of the eighth house is it's really like complex and difficult to understand in its nature. But for some reason, some like deep as like aspect of the psyche or some like deep connected relationship or something related to someone other people's resources are going to come under a highlight or a prominence or be emphasized somehow for you during this full moon week and it's going to have something to do with you being stifled and restricted in that ability to gain that higher perspective that greater understanding that greater overall awareness for some reason so it's like I mean, there's multiple ways this could go because the eighth house, you know, rules like so many different, like really deep and complex things. But like, for example, like maybe you 
like have some type of epiphany in terms of how like your the inner workings of your psyche are playing out or your subconscious mind or you come into conscious awareness somehow during this time of subconscious patterns that you have that are prohibiting you from being able to elevate your belief system or elevate your like spiritual connection to the next level or um that are like holding you back in some type of way from being able to truly attain that level of awareness. And because you're realizing this now, you can address it and then you can make the changes that you need to make in terms of being able to open up to embracing that new awareness going forward. Or maybe like, for example, like you're being limited in some way by like a teacher or a mentor or a guru or someone like, like that. And it's showing up this week for you in terms of, you know, really bringing up like deep and complex emotionally, emotional turmoil and stuff to the surface. And you're looking at it and you're realizing it's because you can no longer move forward with this person. You need to change this particular relationship or the foundation of the relationship so that you can move forward and continue forward and continue to gain the information and the perspective that you're looking for without having to like be involved with that specific mentor, teacher, whatever that's restricting you in some type of way. This also um, could, for some reason, turn into like receiving some type of money or something from another person, other people's finances, other people, like other people's resources coming to you somehow and somehow like relating to or helping you in some way to be able to break through and come to that next level of understanding or maybe because i mean saturn rules endurance as well and hard work maybe you've been really really working really hard to gain a higher level of understanding to gain a new awareness to gain new um skills that can help you advise and mentor other people and maybe you're receiving financial rewards for that this week because of those efforts and maybe or maybe you're receiving feedback or um something from people this week that are helping you gain a greater perspective of what you need to change in your pursuit of gaining new information going forward as well or i'm a gemini ascendant i can tell you one thing that i've personally been struggling with with this is my like cell phone service is really really bad where i live right now and i like cannot get on the internet i like cannot get on youtube and i can't access the information that i usually access that kind of like helps me know what's going on in the actual physical world on a daily basis that corresponds to the energetics like i don't need that to be able to interpret the energetics but i've been like really in kind of a blind spot in knowing you know what's going on and gaining additional information and also teaching myself and learning like new skills and things that I want to do for my astrology business because this like no service issue has been really frustrating to me and limiting my ability to gain access to information and to gain that overall greater picture and stuff like that so it'll be interesting to see what comes up you know with the full moon in um in Capricorn for me and how it pertains to that but that is just one personal example that I can give you of how this ninth house Saturn has been affecting me and I've been facing a lot of struggles and frustrations in terms of being able to just access the information that I'm looking for so that I can have like a well-rounded overall understanding so that's my video for you guys for Gemini for the full moon in um, Capricorn that we have on June 24th. If you are interested and in, like learning about the whole overall energetics that are going to be present that day, check out my video of the astrological outlook of the day for June 24th, 2021. Um, and I will be talking all about the full moon in Capricorn that happens that day. And if you like my video, guys, please give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, leave me comments. I love your comments and tune in for my astrological outlook of the day tomorrow if you want to. See you later, Geminis.